In this video, we will look at how a guest user can conduct small group breakout meetings in Microsoft Teams. So here I am in a Microsoft Team as a guest user. And you can see here on the side, there are several channels. These channels were set up by the owner of the team or the teacher of this team. But now that these are created, I can go in here as a guest and I have an opportunity to conduct small group meetings here. The other thing I can do is post messages or start new conversations with students in this group. And I can send that off, a little announcement to my group. And keep in mind that this doesn't have to be a group. This can be a one-on-one -on -one area to work with a student. OK, so in order to start a meeting, this is not going to be a scheduled meeting. Because remember, um, a guest account cannot schedule their own meetings. So what I'm going to do is come up here to the Meet button, which essentially is going to start an ad hoc meeting. And then we'll look at how a student of this group can see that the meeting has started and join in. So I'm going to click on Meet. It's going to ask me to allow my microphone and my camera. We will go ahead and allow that. Hey, and there I am. And so now what we can do is add a subject here for the meeting. So we could say, this is group A, and we'll click Meet Now. Now I'm in the meeting, things are running, and you can see here that these are the, this is a student in my group that I'm wanting to meet with. And one of the things I could do is I can click the drop down here and click Ask to Join, and that will actually call the student. Uh, and as long as they're in Microsoft Teams, they'll see that call come in. But um, let me show you now what this looks like for the student. So I'm going to pull this browser over where we are logged in as the student, and we can take a look. So here uh, I'm logged in as the student account. I go into the small group A channel, and then here I see that the Group A meeting has started. It's been in process for almost a minute, and we can see the user who has started the meeting. And so now as the student, I can go in and click Join, and I can join and connect into this meeting. So the students do not have to receive necessarily an email about the meeting. They can just navigate into the channel and get into the meeting. So we can see here now that the student has now joined the meeting and is a participant currently in the meeting. And we can, of course, utilize our meeting tools as normal, where we can share our screen, right, to share content with the students. We can uh, show them how to use the raise hand feature. We can also utilize a chat room where we can have conversations through chat and share resources there. All right, and that is how you can conduct small group breakout meetings in Microsoft Teams.